All right, guys, so we pulled this really cool toad out of the garage of Matt. And um, we decided we're going to have a shoe auction, right? Yeah, I believe this came from that unit. Uh, $500 dollar held on. Yeah. So, yeah, let's dive into these shoes and look at these shoes more in depth. All right. So Check out those fancy guys. Do you like gold, kind of like Dorothy vibes. They're kind of cute, though. Yeah, I figured Chop would be a good a These good display. Pop-up shoe auction. I got to figure out when we're going to do it. Okay. Look at that. Oh, those are eight. Eight, you can see on the box. Yeah, let me get a zoom in on those. Wow. Mm -hmm. Check those out. Atrophy. All kind of shoes here. There's a little bit of clothes in here, too. A little bit of Maryland. Check that out, Marilyn. Oh, wow. Size medium. Size medium, huh? Oh. Yeah. Who do these? Pants. These look like a good brand, though. What's that size? School of Hard Knocks. School of Hard Knocks. Actually, yeah, they are. This would do really well for us. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, these, uh -oh, these are brand new. These are all these shoes are brand new, really. These still have things on them, though. Wow. Oh, uh, you want to see the bottom of those? Mm -hmm. They're size eight and a half, though. Oh, it's genuine leather. Wow. Uh -huh. Check that out. Check that out. This whole tote's going on the porch. We're going to auction off all of these shoes. Oh, Pokemon. Guapo, I choose you. Sorry. You knocked over the camera. Oh, gosh. This is nice. What's that? Yep, that's going on the auction too. What's that say? That's a Paris, but Jacquees. Oh, that says Jacquees Saint Laurent. Mm. Wow, Paris. that's a Saint Laurent coat. Jeez, look at that. Let me see that chapel. Hold on, put it around your back again. Check that out. What? That's a sick coat. Let me see that tag one more time. Yeah, that's going to be the main event. That's no going to be the main event. Oh, We're going to do that size? less. Mm. Do you not steam? Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I don't know what size that is. St. Laurent, though. That's pretty cool. And this is a, a whole box of and something see. else in here. The Cosmo. See that? See, it's this. That's in there. Big brain. Bigger personality. Nice. I have no idea. Okay. So that's cool. What the heck is that? Let me see a tag on that. Oh, it's another one. Jacqueline Smith. Huh. Hmm. Saint Laurent. That's not Saint Laurent, though. I didn't realize that. These ones are kind of, you know, kind of messy a little bit. Gosh, man, look at all these shoes, and I remember this. You guys remember this unit, don't you? Ooh, it's a really cool chorus light bottle. Thirty-nine ninety-nine on these. Let me see those. Wow. Oh my gosh, these girls are gonna go crazy. These are shoes. Somebody These are shoes. shoes. Oh, Let's see that sweater. Here. What's that sweater looking like? Oh man. It's inside out. Let me help you out here. Oh, I can just tell some, this is a cool one. It has some texture in it. Let's see it. Wow. Look at that. That's real nice. Yeah, it's a size medium. See the tag? Western Connection? Mm -hmm. Nice. I like that. 
Everybody's outside playing. You hear kids in the background playing around. Oh, look. It's a brand new. What's that? Waterbed sheet set. Say what size? King size. Wow. Yeah, that's worth money. That's a good eBay item. And we maybe got some cool shirts in here. I don't know. Pink rose. Mm. I don't no. think that's a good brand, but we'll check it out. Mm. These ones are nice. These ones are kind of cool. I know. These are size 8? Size 8. Nine. 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 And then there's a whole bunch of random stuff in here. Like this is a adjustable slicer. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Is it in there? Yeah. Dang, I think Ryan would like that. Bolt series. Mm-hmm. Is that a charger? Yeah. Sun's in there yep, it's in there. Is it a charger or what? Yep. Charger's in there. Is that a charging case? Mm-hmm. For what for what model? Let's see, this is a Galaxy S10. Wow, yeah, that's actually worth keeping. This is a cigar box. You guys remember that in the episode? Look at all these. Looks like we got a nice bottle lot we're brewing up. Nine and a half. Nine and a half for those. And there's these. Eight and a half. Am I right? Nine. Nine. It didn't look like eights. Look at another one of those sweaters. Mm -hmm. Snap, that's a, that's a nice one. Let me see what that is. Alan Stewart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That's like a old school 90s. Let's see what else is up here. Are these, is there duplicates of the same shoe? Oh yeah, those look like the same shoes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, there's oh. Look, here's the other one. Same shoe, huh? You guys, this is some crazy, crazy shoe action here. Oh, look at these. You guys remember when we got all these shoes, man? These shoes are crazy. Yeah, this is a heck of a tote, guys. We're just going through it here. Look at this. What's this? A cat shirt? Oh, hold this up. Subscribers are going to love this. Whoa. What year? What's this? Say? Mm. 86. Does no way. Really? Yeah, that says 86. This is vintage. Yeah. Let me see the tag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a vintage shirt right there. That's That could be worth some serious money. Yeah, that's like a, maybe a $100 piece right there. Yeah. That might go on the Etsy shop. Ooh, let me skip right over. This is nice. Ooh, look at that. I don't even remember seeing that when we got the unit. Look at the inside. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Check that out. out. What's that? Genuine say? leather made in India. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is on the auction. This is on the auction. Check that out, bro. This is probably handmade. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. Look at the rhino at the top. Oh, yeah. St. Laurent coat. It has a flat bottom, ladies. Flat bottom. Yeah, only one. I guess that means something good. Some new shower. Some new shower. Some shower. Your curtain. <sighs> Coming out of a 1987 shirt. Fat Farm. Whoa. Classic American flavor. Tell me what's your flavor? What's your flavor? I'm blessed to have a girl to, to display this stuff. <laughs> Aw, I love you. <laughs> I'm trying my best. How am I doing? You're doing great. JJJ this, Sports. This one's not that great. This is a very calm episode. Today's episode is going to be very calm, not nothing wild. Pineapples. We're just ah! going <laughs> to We're just going to look like <laughs> My heart started beating when you said that. I'm not going to lie. Did you? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I think that's what is that it? Um, 
unless you see something super amazing. Unless we pull out something, something super amazing. Whoa! Oh. What does this say? By Teresa. Oh, by the sea. <laughs> by Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Pull that out! What the heck is whoa. that? Whoa. Cincinnati. Is there a date on what? it? What? Probably. Let's see. Tease. Unlimited teas. But look at this tag. Teas. Unlimited. Oh, man. Pull that back a little bit. Wow, guys. This is a vintage one, too. That's a v super vintage. I love stuff like that. That's going in my collection. In your closet? Yep. <laughs> See, just when we thought we were going to give up hope on the tote. What about these jeans? Sometimes these are Tommy's. South Pole. No, what's that say? Bungle Boy. Baldo Boy. Size <laughs> They're brand new. Shout out to Baldo Boy. Yeah. All right, I think I'm giving up now. All right, Chapo, I love you. But you do not put a Victoria's Secret sweater on Vader. It looks good on him, though. I'm sorry, Chapo, but please remove For the once Vader he, sweater. He's actually smiling. Vader's not smiling. <laughs> remove the Victoria's Secret <laughs> off of my man Vader, please. Sorry. Vader. Sorry. Press his button. Let's see what he has to say. See, there you go. Take the sweater off. You have good skills of Fair. taking the sweater off. You're fake. Man, I got I gotta say, I, I gotta say I love it. Um, I just wanna start off by saying I'm genuinely like thankful for like you guys sharing this passion with me. A lot of people see this garage and, and they're like, You're you're crazy, you know. See, but there's a difference here. This is all resale. This is my this is my resale. I, I made the entrepreneur move to no longer have a monthly bill for storing anything when I have a property to store it myself. You guys should definitely take that into consideration. Think about your property. You know, the, the space is priceless, definitely. But if you have a tolerance for it and you're moving things in a consistent way, definitely consider how much you're actually spending to store your items. Sometimes it really doesn't make sense. And, and and you want to make sense because makes sense makes dollars. Right. Okay. So, okay. So I'm looking through all this stuff. I'm getting some lots together. I found this right here. It's a freaking Michael Kors purse, dude. I love it so much, man. It's, it's, I, I feel like I just, and like, don't, don't take that the wrong way. I'm obviously a male. I don't love purses, but I love, I love the detail on it. I love the resale factor. I love how you know, when, when I see my subscribers have a passion for certain things, I'm like, wow, I get excited for them, you know, because this purse is like really cool. You know, I, I sit there and I sell purses, you know, just like Chapel sells shoes, just like Chapel sells the guy clothes. And we start to interpret it, you know, and we, we, we start to look at it and, and get used to it. But check this out. OK, so I'm going through this tote, right? I see this tag. If you guys ever see this tag, know it is a true vintage shirt and they usually do big prints of cool stuff. I I love this brand. Um, make sure you guys definitely take a, a look at your clothes when you go through your stuff. But check this out. SeaWorld. Shamu. Really awesome. I wonder if it's single. Um, no. So when I say single, I mean single stitched. That right there is double stitched, ladies and gentlemen. That is not a single stitch tee. Is it worth money? Of course it's worth money. Does vintage have to be single stitched? Of course not. If it is, like, you know, there's new single stitch shirts, but, you know, based on like, based on the brand, the tag and the stitching, you can identify if something is really, really vintage or not, you know, but fun fact, really quick, guys, if it's past 1995, it, 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 it has a possibility of being double stitched. They started double stitching stuff in 1995. So that's a fun fact, okay? So just because something's double-stitched doesn't necessarily mean it's not vintage. I call 90s vintage. I like the 90s era more than any other era. Now, don't get me wrong. I like 80s, 70s, and for sure like 60s. But 90s is the most popular. It's the most sought-after era right now in reselling. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get done talking you guys' ear off, and we're going to dig through this tote a little more. So, yeah, boom. 
So yeah, we got the Sea we got the Sea World shirt. Look at that, Jack Daniels. So you know when you when you see trays like this, you always want to look for dates, guys. You want to look for dates and significance. Look, tray manufactured by Barringer, Willis, and Manners, Mansfield, England. So yeah, this is this is a tight tray right here. I think this is a good auction item. We might we have a pop a pop up today at one. Literally, we did it. Zero promotion again, of course. And um, we're going to have a blast with it. Whoa, Bible. You always want to check your Bibles too, guys. I know it sounds funny. You know, you know I'm very religious and I, I, love the, I love the word of uh, the Lord. But a lot of people like to store money in, in sacred things in Bibles. So you always want to check your Bibles, you know. And I mean that the most respectful way. For resellers and storage unit buyers and stuff. All my, all my, all my friends out there. Oh, man. Dab cat. Oh my god, Max. Max and all my other cat lovers, man. This is a funny shirt right here. Oh, I like that. I like that one. I like that one. So yeah, what do we got here? A bunch of Jordans. This might be a might be one of my flea market totes and stuff, but I forget what I have, man. So that's why it's super exciting for me. See, I see like a little Indian scheme down here. We're gonna check that out. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's an auction item all day today. It is an auction item. What is that? Let me see. Hold on. Rogue. Nice. That's donate. Big shoes. Real big shoes. Look at this. Oh, oh. Wilson. No, Wilson. You know what? I'm going to hang this up. This is going in the house. I'm going to put that as a decoratory, a decorative item. Oh, look at these. See now these shoes. These are tens. I'm going to put these with these. Those go together. Let's see. Doug, to the bottom, pretty much of the toe. A little bit of Legos. This is, this is empty. I'll check that. Bunch of bunch of freaking shoes that we're probably auctioning off. But look at this. Ryder Cup. Have to look this this golf ball up. Pretty sweet, huh? There's all kind of crazy magazines over here. You don't want to see that. But I found a bunch of targets. Targets and then a bunch of 80s porn magazines, man. Dude, I really wish, like, I don't wish I could show you, but, like, dude, it was interesting. Like, and I'm not even trying to be nasty. It was just so interesting how, like, much they advertised coming to to, to be a part of it. And it's, it's just crazy. I don't even want to talk about it. But, yeah, so, yeah, so it got kind of cool. Oh, oh, this is why I turned it on. Look, I found a freaking change, a change uh, piggy bank with change in it. So we're probably going to make a whole other episode counting how much this is. Auction bucket right now. All right, look at this. Ooh. Windshield Wonder makes easy cleaning windshields fast and easy. Huh. What's this? Oh, it's not car car calendar things we found this really cool packers printout i really couldn't find a date but um oh there we go 2008 right there yeah this is crazy we found this really cool packers we it's just me we found this really cool oh, we i found this really cool packers thing and then i decided to put the camera back on because i found these really old pictures and I thought of Jonathan and everybody else that likes old pictures. It's 1968 right there, children's summer camp. And then these two are old pictures too, real old pictures actually. See that says what, 1958? Yeah, so that's pretty, it's a pretty old picture. So yeah, we're gonna, we're trying to make, we've, we haven't had an, a bunch of, uh, we haven't had any old picture lots. So all of my storage uh, unit old pictures are gonna be in a lot here soon. We got a bunch of cozies in here. I wonder if people would like these cozies. 
Oh, here's more pictures. Oh, and more postcards. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Corona. I was actually making a freaking Corona lot. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Oh, 1975. Nice. Eisenhower, $0.08, cents, 1975. Wow, that's cool. That's going in the lot, too, right there. I have to make a nice lot here. Nice old picture lot. Let's see. Golf and Fish Club. Two Golf and Fish Clubs. We're just going to throw that in there. Two Golf and Fish Clubs. This is 2011. Oh, that's a picture of 2011. There's more pictures. Two thousand ten. I'm not even gonna show them. Two thousand ten. In memory of, yeah, nothing, nothing else insane. I don't believe. Gosh, guys, I, I feel like I literally, I literally should be recording this, man. And I, I always stop the camera, and it's always too late because I can't get it while I find it at the moment. So, okay, basically, what I found was this really cool bag right here. Then I found this coach bag, and it looks to be actually real. really sick bag and then and then i found this and this is what made me turn on the camera so i thought it was like a normal watch right i open it up and look at what the heck this is man see i'm not sure if this is yeah i'm not you know i'm not even gonna guess i really don't know i'm thinking sewing but i'm not sure Yeah, that's super weird. Like, what is this? Like, I don't know, man. I don't have no idea. So I am going to leave it to my awesome subscribers to tell me exactly what the hells this is. Because I have no clue. I have not a clue. Man, I want to say that's material, so... Not a clue, guys. Not a clue. Sorry, I'm not even going to guess. So definitely let me know. That probably concludes our episode of going through this random garage. Because um, I got 40 minutes. I have to get ready for this pop-up. Um, love you guys. I'll see you later. Boom.